time for Monsters Pepper Reviews. What's up everybody, it's Bootla Bobby back with another Monsters Pepper Review. Before we get started today, I would like to say thank you so very much for your continued support, you know, the sharing pages, uh, commenting, things like that. I, I love the social interaction. Also, thanks to you guys, we just hit 500 likes on my review page with 527 followers. It absolutely means the world to me. I really appreciate it. I say we because I can't do this without you guys. I mean, it, I'm just absolutely floored at the amount of input and the social interaction that I've had with amazing people. Uh, thanks to this amazing chili community that we have. Um, also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, for your standard reviews, I will be posting those uh, on YouTube. They will still go on my review page, but they will go on as a YouTube link. Uh, now, as far as the insane challenges that I do sometimes, uh, I will be still doing those live on my review page. That will, will not change. Uh, I know you guys love that format. If there's any other feedback that you'd like to give me, please do so in the comments. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. From Dragon's Blood Elixir out of Wyndham, Connecticut, we have their Salsa Verde Picante Sauce. This is one of their specialty sauces, uh, which means it's not around forever. It's just a one-off sauce from what I gather uh, from their website. I've not had the opportunity to try any of their sauces, so I'm really looking forward to this. Now, this particular sauce I have opened and used. Uh, I used it with breakfast. I used uh, it on... Uh, turkey sausage and scrambled eggs in a bowl and it was absolutely wonderful I mean I just can't say enough good things about this sauce it was that good uh, the ingredients on this Connecticut grown habaneros and super hot peppers ripeness challenged Connecticut grown tomatillas apple cider syrup apple cider vinegar apple puree roasted garlic cilantro and sea salt Let's go ahead and get into this. It's got a real nice color to it. Uh, there is, from what I see, very, a very little amount of seeds in this. You automatically get the roasted garlic. You get the tomatillas. Uh, you can you can smell that there are peppers in this, of course, uh, but nothing jumps out and you know just like attacks you. So it doesn't immediately smell you know, overpoweringly hot. I do believe that I can detect a small uh, or a hint of tartness from the apples. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. Now, I really like the consistency of this sauce. It's a little bit thicker. Um, I really enjoy thick sauces. Not ones that are so thick that they actually get hung in a bottle, but I do like thick sauces. Alright, guys, down the hatch. Really nice consistency. It's a little bit thinner than apple sauce, I would say. Um, you get the tomatillas. You get um, a little bit of citrus from the habaneros. I don't know what other super hots they used in this, as this is a one-off specialty sauce. Um, the apples play an interesting role in this sauce. They lend a little bit of a sweet acidity uh, just in the background of the sauce. A little bit of tingle across the tongue. It's nothing, uh, you know, overpowering or major or anything like that. Um, just enough to let you know that you know there are hot peppers in this. Um, it's a really good sauce, though. Absolutely, I can see me completely just going through this sauce uh, in no time flat. The only downfall to this is where it's a specialty sauce. It's one off apparently, and I wish this stayed in their rotation of sauces. It's really that good. It is. Uh, with that being said, I will put a link in the description. Uh, have a good one, and we'll see you in the next video.